Hi guys, so it's finally 2016 and I'm super super excited for the new year. Now I feel like this is the best time for me to do my 2015 favourites or the best of beauty 2015. So these are all my favourite makeup and beauty products of the whole year of 2015. Things that I've been using, things that I absolutely love and things that I think you guys should really try out. So if you haven't already noticed, I do have a little bit of a different background. Now I don't know if this is going to be my permanent background, I'm just pretty much playing around with it because I have some new furniture so I've moved some stuff around in my bedroom and at the moment this is probably the best place that I can find but I'm just going to try different areas and see which is the best one. So in every single category there is a drugstore product and I absolutely love the drugstore and I've managed to find a great drugstore product in every single category. So if you do only like the drugstore then this is going to be a great video for you. Also I do have some high end products that I really do like. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you want to see my favourites of 2015 then just keep watching. The first products I'm going to talk about are my favourite primers and this will come as no surprise to you guys if you watch my videos or my tutorials. The first one is a drugstore product and this is the Stay Matte Primer from Rimmel and I did a full review on this which I'll link down below for you. I absolutely love this. This is incredible for the price. I think it's only about $5.99 and it keeps me matte all day. Sometimes I go to the gym and I only put this on my skin and it stops me from sweating and when I sweat a lot then my skin does break out a lot and this stops me from breaking out. Honestly I've had absolutely no troubles with this. I have super sensitive skin and I break out with a lot of products and this is just incredible and this works amazingly for me. And the next product that I have is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I am in love with this. This is an incredible product and it feels so lightweight on the skin and it just refreshes your face as well. And I've noticed that my skin doesn't get as oily when I use this. It's very good for sensitive skin as well. It's silicon free, alcohol free and oil free and it just works incredibly. It is quite expensive. I think it's about £20 but this lasts a very, very long time. I've had this for a couple of months. I use this every single day and... I've only got down to about half of a bottle so you're probably only going to need about one of these every year or two of these every year so I really like these and I definitely recommend that you try this out if you want to try and find a primer if you're allergic to a lot of different products. Next I have my favourite foundations and the first one is my Holy Grail foundation which I love and it is just incredible and nothing has beaten this so far and this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup Foundation. I absolutely love this, this is incredible, like I said it's my Holy Grail. If you want to know where the pump is from, it's from MAC and it fits this perfectly because it doesn't come with a pump. And I have four different shades of this for when I'm different stages of tan and I just love this foundation. I do not get oily when I use this. This is the only foundation that stays on my skin all day. I put it on first thing in the morning, I come home from work about 7 o'clock, 7, 8 o'clock and it still looks perfect on my skin. Even after about 12 hours of wear, this literally looks perfect. If you do have very oily skin, I definitely recommend this for you. And the first person that got me into this was when I watched Casey Holmes' video. She did a review on this and she has super oily skin and she loved this and I just cannot get enough of this. This is just perfect. It's incredible and I definitely recommend it to every single one of you guys out there. Next is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. I love this. This is a drugstore product. It's pretty much a dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear. It doesn't stay on your skin as long and it does look really nice and matte. It gives you a medium coverage but you can build up to full. I'm wearing it at the moment and it just looks so flawless. You can't see any imperfections on my face. It covers up all of my redness. It covers up my blemishes and I really love this. I also think I might have done a review on this which I'll link down below for you as well. But this is really good if you want a drugstore alternative. I think it's about £8. So it's so much more cheaper than the Estee Lauder. Obviously it's not as good but I love this and I use this for when I go to work or if I don't want to use my Estee Lauder and I want a little bit more of a lighter foundation this is incredible and the last foundation I have is the EX1 Invisiwear liquid foundation I am obsessed with this foundation I can only wear it when I'm tanned I do have two different shades I have F100 and this one's F200 so this matches me when I have a deeper tan so about two layers on and then the F100 matches me when my tans coming off and also when I have a light tan I love these these last a very very long time they literally look like your own skin I used to wear this to work when I was tanned and everyone looked at my skin now like your skin looks so good it looks so flawless and it's literally this foundation like I said it looks like your own skin but only better and you can't even tell that you're wearing foundation it also is non-pore clogging and I've noticed that my skin hasn't broken out with this next are my favorite concealers and I have three of these and the first one is the Maybelline fit me concealer and I have this in three different shades I have 15 10 and 20 15 matches me perfectly when I don't have any tan on it still has a highlighting effect underneath my eyes and 
it gives really nice coverage it's like a medium coverage it's not full but it also looks natural and gets rid of my under eye circles which I really like it doesn't crease it's super affordable next I have the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and as you can see I've pretty much used all of this up I haven't used this as much in 2015 as I did last year but I have been using this for the first part of 2015 and I have to say I love it the only reason why I haven't repurchased another one is because of how expensive it is I think it's about 15 pounds the color matches me amazingly I have NW15 this is amazing for under my eyes I know that I can go a shade darker for when I am self tanned but this gives you a very full coverage it looks very natural as well and I just think this is incredible for concealing your under eye circles and also highlighting I definitely recommend this it is a very thick concealer but it is going to last you a very very long time and the last concealer is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and I absolutely love this concealer. This is pretty much a dupe for the MAC Pro Longwear. The only thing is I can only use this when I do have a tan because the lightest shade that we have over here in the UK is light. And I know that in America they have fair and brightening and things like that. And I just wish that they had fair that came out over here because then I can use this all the time. It's very full coverage. It also conceals all my under eye circles. It acts pretty much the same as the MAC Pro Longwear and it lasts a very, very long time as well it also has goji berry in it as well so it helps your under eyes it doesn't crease it lasts pretty much all day next I have my favorite bronzers and I have two favorite bronzers and I'm not obsessed with bronzers like a lot of people are I used to wear them not that often but now I've started wearing them pretty much all day and the first one that I have is pretty much my holy grail bronzer at the moment I absolutely love this also it's a dupe for the Chanel Tandis Soleil Chanel bronzer and this is the W7 makeup and glow bronzing base this is exactly the same as the Chanel one and it's pretty much the same colour. I've looked at loads of swatches and it acts exactly the same. This works on every single stage of tan for me. It works when I'm pale, it also works when I'm tanned and it gives such a gorgeous colour. Also it doesn't have a shimmer to it as well. It doesn't have a scent and it is a little tiny bit orangey when you first apply it but what I tend to do is get my duo fibre brush swirl it round in there and then pat the excess on the back of my hand and then I get the orangey off of it. I am wearing it at the moment for contour which is right down here. I use this all the time for contouring and also bronzing. I do not go to my powder contours anymore. I just think this looks so much better as well and I just am in love with this. It looks very natural because you're very natural glow and the other one that I have is the Collection Bronze Glow Mosaic Bronzer and this is in the shade 2 Radiant. I actually really like this if you want a subtle glow to your skin. It does have some shimmer to it and it's pretty light colour as well. You have the different shades in there but it's pretty light as you can see on my hand I did a little swatch and you can't really see a lot on there but it's very shimmery and this is good if you're starting out with bronzing. It's not going to be good if you have super pale skin like I do when I'm not self tanned but it works really well and it stays on for a very very long time. Next to my favourite brow products and these I actually tried out towards the end of 2015. I think it was the last half and I have to say I'm pretty much obsessed with these. I've not found a brow product that works anywhere near as good as these and I do have two of these and these are both NYX products. So the first one that I have is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and this is in the shade Espresso. This is pretty much a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and you have the spoolie thing right on the end there and then you also have the little Brow Wiz thing on this side. This works incredibly on my eyebrows. I'm only using this today and they look really nice and very natural. You can make them bold, you can also make them as natural as you like and I just think it works really really well and the fact that you have the brush on the end is incredible because I used to have one of these brushes and I just lost it. I just keep losing all these but the fact that it's on my brow pencil just makes it so much easier and you can just get into the little hairs there as well which I really like and also you can tame your brows with it as well. And the next product that I have is the NYX Tame and Friend Tinted Brow Pomade which is also a dupe for another Anastasia Beverly Hills product. I think it's the Dip Brow and this is also in the shade Espresso. Now I could go a shade darker in this but it does work really well. It's a nice cool brown shade. It works for my skin and also my hair colour. This is a really nice consistency as well. It's not too dry and it's not too wet because I know that with a lot of brow products if they are wet then it can start to slide all over your face and it's not dry to the point where you can't put it on your eyebrows this is amazing I love this it makes my eyebrows look so nice when I go out and 
I just absolutely love this. These two products are absolutely incredible. They're super affordable as well because they're from the drugstore and they're dupes for very high-end products as well. So next to my favourite eyeliners and the first things I'm going to show you are my favourite pencil liners and this one is the Rimmel Soft Curl Pencil. I have three different shades of this. I have black, white and also the nude one. The nude one is a waterproof one. It just stays on a little bit longer than the other ones and it makes my eyes just pop and look so much bigger when you put this on the waterline and the white one does exactly the same as well and they're super, super affordable and they work very well they sound a very long time I have noticed that the black one smudges a little tiny bit but it's not so bad if you don't put too much on your waterline which is what I do sometimes and my other favourite eyeliner is the Smashbox Limitless Eyeliner in the shade Onyx and it's pretty much run out now just look at how much I have left of this and I absolutely love this it's waterproof it stays on all day it does not smudge I have this on my upper waterline at the moment and it just works incredibly I just love how creamy this is it does doesn't help when it glides on I don't get any sensitive eyes when I wear this as well and it is quite expensive I think it's about 15 pounds for this eyeliner but like I said it stays on all day doesn't smudge doesn't irritate and it just looks so gorgeous and so creamy as well my favorite gel liner is the Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Drama 24 hour gel liner I absolutely love this it's super super affordable it's the best gel liner that I've ever found and I've tried so many different ones including Clinique and this is so much better this stays on all day it doesn't budge it's very pigmented it gives you a gorgeous flick or a gorgeous line whichever you decide to choose and it's very black and it's just I, I can't really say anything else about this it's just so gorgeous you also get the brush with this which is so much more helpful as well and my favorite liner is my favorite felt liner and this will come as no surprise to you guys if you watch my video Videos. This is the Collection Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner. This is super super affordable. This is incredible. It's my favourite holy grail eyeliner. This is something that I always keep buying, something that I always keep going to. I've not found a felt liner that is anywhere near as good as this. This is the eyeliner that I keep going to. I go to it more than my gel liner, but that's still a great gel liner. If you want a great gel liner, get that one, the Maybelline one. But this is the best felt liner. It does not smudge it doesn't budge it stays on all day it's waterproof it doesn't even say it's waterproof on here but it is waterproof i've been in the shower and it is not even smudged or anything like that it's very pigmented it doesn't dry out a lot either i think i'd get through about one of these every four to six months which is incredible for a fat line next to my favorite mascaras and i have one high end and one drugstore and these are my holy grail mascaras throughout the whole of 2015 i'm not gone to anything else and i have not loved anything else as much as these in 2015 and the first one i have is the Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara and this is absolutely incredible it's only £3 and I absolutely love this this is my holy grail drugstore mascara and it keeps your eyelashes really long really full really thick and it's very pigmented as well and for £3 honestly you cannot go wrong I got this in a glossy box and right off the bat I absolutely loved it and it just made my eyelashes look so nice I wear this every single day when I go to work I get compliments on my eyelashes and I just think this is absolutely incredible it doesn't smudge and it doesn't budge throughout the day as well and I'm going to keep buying loads of these because I just absolutely love them and the other mascara that I have is the Benefit Roller Lash and I did do a first impression video on this which I'll link down below for you but I absolutely love this it is a lot more expensive than the Essence Lash Princess but this works very very well it makes my eyelashes look so long and so separated as well it is starting to lose what I had before it's not as pigmented as it was but I think that's probably because I've had this for about four months I've been using this for four months and that's probably the reason why it's starting to dry up a little bit the consistency is really nice with this it's not too wet and it's not too dry it's pretty much perfect and I love the way that my eyelashes look with this the first time that I wore this to work I got compliments on my eyelashes they said how long and how full they looked and I just absolutely love this if you do want to have a mascara that separates your lashes and makes them really really nice and long even without using a curler then I definitely recommend that you go and pick this up next to my favorite palettes and I have three of these and one of these is going to be absolutely no surprise to you guys if you watch my tutorials and the first one that I have is the makeup revolution I heart chocolate palette I absolutely love this I go to this pretty much every single day if I don't know what look I'm going to create I just use a couple of different colors out of this and it just works incredibly just look at that packaging it's like a gorgeous chocolate bar it's also a dupe for the Too Faced chocolate bar palette as well 
and I've actually seen loads of swatches on this and some of the swatches look better than the Too Faced ones. It does have a slight hint of chocolate to it as well and I have used this quite a lot so a lot of these shades have pretty much been broken and just dug into too much but I love every single shade of these. They're very pigmented and they just look absolutely gorgeous and last all day as well. I also have the BH Cosmetics Wild Child palette and I did talk about this in one of my favourites videos. I love a lot of the shades in this. I especially like the two pinks right here and also these two browns. I just think these are absolutely gorgeous. They're so pigmented as well. You can use them wet or dry and I just absolutely love the colours of these. Just look at those colours. They're just so pigmented. They look absolutely gorgeous and also if I don't know what I'm going to do with my eyes I tend to just go in with this especially when I'm going to work and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. A lot of the time I tend to go for one of these nice browns and then I tend to go for this lighter shade here and my eye makeup is pretty much complete. This is super affordable, super pigmented and it's absolutely gorgeous. And the last palette is a new palette that I've been working with for about a month or two now and this is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette and I don't know if you can see that but I absolutely love this palette. At first I wasn't sure if I'd like it or not but after working with the shades a lot it's very pigmented, they blend very well and the shade range is just really nice. I haven't seen a palette where you get golds and you also get the purple ones here and you also get browns and you also get highlighters. I love the fact that you get highlighters in here. This highlighter is my favourite and I also like this one. I haven't tried these two because they're quite dark on my skin at the moment but this one is the one I'm wearing at the moment and I don't know if you can see that but just look at the highlighter on my cheeks. It's so gorgeous. I love this palette and a great thing is you also get a mirror in it as well. I also have two favourite blushes as well throughout this year and the first one is the MAC Spring Sheen. I love this, this is incredible. This is the only MAC shade that I own and this is the only one that I'm going to need to own. It's so pigmented, it's also got some glitter in it as well. It works amazingly on my pale skin, also when I'm tanned it works really well as well. I'll do a little swatch so you can see. And just look at how gorgeous that pink is. It's like a pinky peach colour and it also has gold flecks of glitter in it as well but it's not to the point where it's chunky glitter. It's just a really nice shimmer and it looks a little bit like a highlighter. So sometimes when I use this I don't even need a highlighter with it because it just looks so gorgeous on the cheeks. And the other blush that I have is a drugstore one and this is the Makeup Gallery Feeling Blush Blusher and this is in the shade Candy Floss. Now as you can see I have pretty much used almost all of this up. I'm wearing this on my cheeks today and I just think it gives a really nice flush of colour it just looks so gorgeous and yeah I pretty much used all of it up but it's a really nice pinky shade it's really matte as well which I like it's also very similar to spring sheen so as you can see even without the shimmer it's very very close to spring sheen which I really do like I think that's pretty much what drew me to this shade anyway this is also very pigmented it lasts all day as well it's also got vitamin E in it as well and it blends amazingly as well I have two favorite highlighters as well and the first one is the blushing hearts triple baked blush in the shade iced hearts from makeup revolution i actually use a darker shade for a blush when i can't be bothered to just do a highlighter in a blush this is pretty much a highlighter in a blush all in one and these two are used for a highlighter as well they're just so gorgeous so pigmented as well and they're just so affordable as well. I think this is about £5 and you get three different shades. It's going to last a very long time. I've used this for a long time and I haven't even made a dent in this. There's so much product in here and I just absolutely love this. The other one that I have is the MAC Cinderella Iridescent Press Powder in the shade Coupe de Chic. And just look at how gorgeous that packaging is. I was totally obsessed with this when I saw this on the website and I just had to buy this. I didn't see any swatches or anything like that. So it was pretty much like a blind purchase. And just look at how cute that packaging is it just looks so disney fired i absolutely love it and the shade is like a really nice pink shade and it's got a little bit of peach in it as well and it's got gold glitter in there as well i love this you can use this as blush if you mix it with another blush as well this will give you a really nice shiny look and also you can use it as highlighter i use this as highlighter a lot of the time and i just think this is so gorgeous i just absolutely love it and just look of that shimmer that is just so nice next is my favorite contour kit and it's a barry m chisel cheeks contour kit now i absolutely love this and i've used this so much throughout the whole of 2015 i also have a video on a review of this and also how i use this which i'll link down below for you and just look at those shades these are really good for if you have pale skin also if you have tan skin these are very universal so you have a cool toned contour a bronzer and then you also have the highlighter the highlighter works great on me even when i'm porcelain as well as you can see i've used this a lot so i've hit pan on two of the shades it just works incredibly it's super super affordable and it stays on all day it blends really nicely as well and it's very pigmented which i love 
We're almost at the end and the last thing for me to show you are my favourite lip products and the first thing that I'm going to show you is my favourite lip combo and this will probably come as no surprise if you watch my videos and also if you read my blog. So the first thing that I have is the Essence Lip Liner in the shade In The Nude. This is super super affordable, it's also from the drugstore and I'm going to do a swatch for you there and that's what it looks like. It's a gorgeous pinky nude shade and it lasts a very long time, it's really creamy as well and it's not matte so it won't dry out your lips and like I said it stays on a long time and it's only about a pound so it's super super affordable and the lipstick that I love with this is the Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in the shade 03 which is also a gorgeous pinky nude shade and that's what they look like together so they pretty much match and this also has a strawberry scent to it which I absolutely love and it's very creamy it moisturizes your lips it doesn't dry them out or anything like that it's a gorgeous pinky nude shade this is pretty much my perfect pinky nude the best nude for my skin tone and I just absolutely love this it's so incredible it's super affordable as well and my favorite MAC lipstick that I have is the shade Angel which will also come as no surprise to you guys who watch my videos I have been obsessed with this shade for a very very long time it's a gorgeous pink shade and it's not to the point where it looks like you have dry lips or dead lips or anything like that it's very moisturizing as well it's also a frost finish so it has a little bit of like a frosty look to it and this is what it looks like just look at how gorgeous that is it's just so nice it's very iridescent as well and I'm wearing this at the moment which I absolutely love just look at how gorgeous that is for my skin tone it's perfect and I can't believe it's taken me so long to purchase this lipstick and the last lipstick that I have is my favorite liquid lipstick and this will probably come as no surprise to you guys if you watch my videos and this is the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Lolita I did do a makeup tutorial which I'll link down below for you on this lipstick and this is absolutely incredible now it is it's pretty expensive it did cost me 20 pounds to get this shipped over and the price of this as well from Sephora from America but it's so worth the money that is what the shade looks like it's a gorgeous mauvey rose color and it also is a little bit lighter when it's dried as well it dries matte it doesn't dry out your lips either it stays on all day even throughout my eating and drinking I had so many compliments on this when I wore this out to the Christmas party at work and people were saying how good it was my friend also absolutely loves this but she doesn't want to pay the price for it and I just can't recommend this enough. It's just so gorgeous, stays on all day, super highly pigmented, you don't need a lot of it, and it's just absolutely perfect. So these are my favorite beauty products of 2015. I'm sorry that this video was very, very long, but I had a lot of products to show you, and I really hope that you guys like my recommendations and you try some of them, because I absolutely love them. I think that they're so good as well, and I just love them. I just think these are the best things that I've tried throughout the whole of 2015. Nothing else compares to how good these are so I absolutely love these so if you do have any recommendations for me to try in 2016 just comment down below to let me know so I hope that you enjoyed this video make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video guys